My name is Ari, I'm 20 years old. I'm from Tawa City, Michigan. The beginning of my story starts when I was in the womb. I was born with my crochet, which basically means I was born without a right ear. I have all of the instruments that you need in the ear, in the inside. I have the eardrum and everything. I just don't have the ear canal or the exterior. So I'm unable to hear out of my right side. As a young girl, I didn't really care about my ear as far as I was concerned. I was just as normal as everyone else. But I had to sit next to my teachers in school because I couldn't hear out of my right ear, which led to people noticing I was different, and that was around first grade. They made it very clear that I didn't look like them. Almost positive that's a bag of nipples. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, I'm Allison. Ari. Nice to meet you, Ari. Cold hands. Meet cold hands. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say? Cold hands, warm hearts. I'm seeing Ari today for the first time, and she's beautiful, young, vibrant woman. On first glance, it's hard to tell why she might be here today. My crochet. Mini craniofacial surgeries. Yeah. <laughs> You want to tell me a little bit more? I've had about 18 procedures in total oh since I was gosh. 11. Yeah. Starting at 11? Yes. And you're 20? Yes. Wow. So that's more than one a year. Do you want to kind of show me where we are now with all those 18 surgeries? OK. OK. Just look real straight at me for a second. OK. Microtia is a term referring to an ear that stopped developing in a certain stage. It's very commonly located farther forward on the face and inferiorly, a little bit lower down. What Ari's reconstructive attempts have resulted in is actually quite typical for what I see. The ear is incredibly difficult to recreate surgically and sometimes it falls short for the patients. My surgeons told me there was nothing else that uh, they could do for me, and I was heartbroken. I was absolutely devastated. OK. You don't necessarily have to have any surgery. Mm -hmm. We can always work around the soft tissue that you have. You've worked really hard to get that reconstruction. Mm -hmm. So the non-surgical options are to have an adhesive ear and integrate some of that anatomy into the ear. And so it might look like you just have a little bit longer lobe. It's not uncommon for an anaplastologist to come in after several surgical reconstructions to be presented as an alternative solution. The 18 reconstructive surgeries that Ari has had is basically giving me a challenge of getting a natural looking ear to fit over that complex shape. That can make achieving a symmetrical result incredibly difficult. Aria, this is the lovely and talented Catherine. So Hello. she's going to help. So I'll take one side, she's going to take the other side. Mm -hmm. You've never had an impression before, correct? Okay. No. The first step in making a prosthesis is taking an impression. We take impressions of both sides so that we have a copy of the affected side and a copy of the unaffected side. So you've got three piercings. Are you going to put three piercings in your prosthetic? I'm just my, I actually had more piercings on that year. I just let some of them close. <laughs> I'm going to get started. Okay. This is going to be really cold. Mm. I was right, right? Yeah. <laughs> that is so cold. <laughs> Ari's prosthesis is basically going to be a compromise between trying to achieve symmetry and then working around the surgical outcome that we have. I promise I'm not going to take your ear with me. Please don't, you know, I only, I'm here to get one, <laughs> not for the other one to be taken from me. She's had a lot of disappointments leading up to this point in her life, and I don't want to be included in that. So I've got a fair amount of pressure on me. It's so weird to hold in my hand. <laughs> Soon you're going to have two of those. Hey, Ari. Hi. How are you today? I'm good, how are you? I'm OK, too. It's happening. I know. I'm very excited. So here's the the ear. Oh my goodness. 
all this is your adhesive surface, and then I would bring it down into this. Okay. This nice thin edge. That's what's going to help that edge almost disappear for you. Okay. Do I have to worry about it, like, tearing at all? So, yes and no. I've given you the strongest edges that I can. Mm -hmm. There's a tear strength dispersion on there, but it is still, you know, part of it blending really nicely is it getting super, super thin. OK, I'm super nervous right now, because I know it's coming you know, to glue it on me. Yes, I will. And, like, my heart is kind of, like, dropping already. It's, like, seeping into my chest. Good thing you're already sitting down. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just looking at it, I'm like, oh my gosh, she's about to put it on my head. Open and close your jaw for me again. Yeah. Good Can night. I touch yeah. it? Go ahead. Oh, that is so weird. This is a different feeling. <laughs> I have all kinds of memories, you know, flooding through my head at the moment. All things that I've had to go through to get here, you know. It's been everything that I've ever known. Ready? No, yes, yes. Well, I'll, I'll let you turn it around. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you want to see from the back, too? Yes, please. so good. You blended it so well. You're so good at what you do. <laughs> Thank you. Living in this moment feels amazing. I mean, I would never be able to compare it to anything. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Seeing it there, I mean, I had no expectations, nothing to compare it to, and it just feels so good. <laughs> We got it, we got it, we're together, we're together. I can't imagine what my mom was gonna say. But it looks so good. I heard Ari crying, and she's so happy, and she never cries, and just hearing her cry, just, that did it for me. That did it, for sure. I'm ready to see it, but I'm not ready to see it. You wanna go see mom? I'm ready. Okay. I am extremely eager to <laughs> show her my ear. Even though I saw myself in the mirror already, it just wasn't quite right without her there. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> no, stop, because I'm going to cry. <laughs> oh, my God, are you serious? <laughs> 